Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. Hey, so we had a great event uh, here in the Gold Coast over the weekend. And uh, I was listening to a lot of the feedback. And, and, and one of the big pieces of feedback that we received from the event is this idea that you are allowed to play with your creations, uh, but it won't actually, uh, it doesn't actually matter. When you, the, the creations don't matter, they don't really change your life. You get to play. You get to play with it. And what I mean by that is when you become in uh, alignment with realizing you can have it all now. And you're living the core four, which are that you are the predominant creative force. Predominant creative force means you are the predominant primary creator in your life. When you are living your truest nature and purpose as a creator, turning thoughts into things, when you are living a life you love, and when you truly know that you're healthy and vital, when you have those, there's nothing that can be better than that. And since there's nothing that can be better than that, some people say to me, well, Chris, why would I go and create anything else? And the answer is because it's fun. Because it's fun to. It's fun to create a different body shape. It's fun to. Why not? Why not? It's fun to be able to uh, create a few million dollars a week. Why not? It's, it's fun to write a book. It's fun to get a holiday with your friends. It's fun to learn to meditate deeply. You go into creations just because it's fun. You get to play. And when you're playing with it, there's no resistance. You're just going and doing it. Why not? Who cares? Yeah, it's fun. Go create a worldwide movement around consciousness. You're still the same person. Why not do it? And so when you shift into that, your, your creation is just a game that you're playing, you really don't have as much resistance. And the only way to do that is to arrive and realize that it's not going to ever get any better than this. And because humans have been stuck in this pattern for generations, probably millennia, saying, if then, you know, if we could, if we could just have, you know, agriculture work for us, if we could just have machinery, if we could just have a washing machine, if we could just have electricity, if we could just have heating, if we could just have no war, if we could just have this, if we could just have this, then. I could be happy. And how much coding is there in our field of saying, when we just get one more little trinket, you know, one more little thing. So right now, life's never been better in human history than it, than it is right now. It's just never been better. And that's a really interesting thing because so much of us are still caught in the same field saying, well, it needs to be better. When, 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 when? So it's not. It's not. And, and so, so right now, the point is, is you get to arrive at the magnetic moment and you get to play. You just get to play with your creations. And so the question I have to you is, if you assume that right now is better than anything else, what fun thing would you like to create for fun? What would be some fun things you'd like to create? And that's what this is about. It's about realizing you have it all already. You are the universal consciousness manifesting yourself as a human being. And that's what you are. And you get to go out and have fun and create whatever you want. But without this, this guilt or this shame or this weird pride that if you did it, you'd somehow be more important than others, right? You get to have it all now. You get to play. And, and so here's what's interesting. So on Monday, it was my birthday. And I think I many of you know. And the fun thing that I wanted to create for my birthday is I wanted to have an amazing uh, day with my team. And so I hired this super yacht. It was a $10 million super yacht and I paid for the lot. So we hired this super yacht. We had breakfast at 8 a.m. We got on there at 10 a.m. and we went out and we, we cruised the Gold Coast weather. The weather was perfect. We had absolute, we had lobster. Uh, we had Morton Bay bug, which is a type of lobster, I guess, or crayfish. We had uh, oysters and sashimi and we went out there and we jump off the boat and we, we went out to an island and, you know, we played games that I happened to win every single game. It was part of my creation. Uh, you know, we had a great time and it was just a fun thing I wanted to create. 
there's no reason. It was just fun. I paid for a lot, did the whole thing. You just get to create. You just get to say, what is it you want to do? Harriet and I bought uh, 10 hectares uh, up in the, the Gold Coast hinterland. And we, we want to reforest it. We want to create a food forest. That's what we're doing just for fun. I want to buy a, a retreat and have people come in and have retreats. So we're actively looking for retreats with a tennis court in this amazing place to live. Why? Just for fun. I want to write another book. Another book's coming through me. I've already got the notes sitting here. Um, some of the inner circle people have received the first 50 pages of the draft. And so I'm writing a book just for fun. And I want to pass that, I want to pass that energy across to you. You're allowed to have it all now and then just create just for fun. Who's up for that, by the way? Just because that's a fun thing you want to do. You're allowed to. And, and all of this other, this stress, this drama, this inflation rate, this blah, blah, blah. All of this other stuff, they can live in everyone else's reality. You can bring it in, you can accept it, you can just create. That's what Magnetic Mind is about. Knowing that you have it all now, knowing that you're far bigger than anything you could ever create. And so then choosing to engage in things, pull it off the menu of the universal uh, you know, menu board and say, that is what I would like to experience for fun. I'd like to experience a beautiful relationship. I'd like to experience that and that and that. And so it's really important, right? Just to go, what is it that you would like to do for fun? It's really fun to create a lot of money. That's a fun, why not? Why not do that? It's really fun to have abundance, you know? It's fun. And, and that's, the, that's the vibe that I would love to pass uh, across to you all today. So today's session is going to be great. And it's, it's, uh, it's really nice to sit in this idea that right now is the best it will ever get and to tune into what it is that you would have fun creating. So today's topic is creating new identities to get out of overwhelm and into flow. This was inspired by a one-on-one -on -one session uh, that I had yesterday with a very important person to me. And I remember when I had so many things that, that, that was going on that I felt overwhelmed. Anyone else got this? You know, you're a parent, you know, you're in a relationship, you're a business owner, you're a, you know, you're a, you got so many things going on. Even just in business, you're a salesperson, you're a marketer. How many of you feel like you've got 10, 20, 30, 40 different hats, you know, and sometimes that hat called going to the gym doesn't get put on or that hat of uh, meditation um, doesn't get put on. Does anyone experience that? It's like, there's so many different aspects of you and it's quite hard to, to get it all done. I remember about, I think, five or six years ago, I, I would get one area of my life and, I, and I'd get that going. And then what would happen is other parts of my areas just wouldn't get the same attention. And I'm not talking about fun choices. I'm talking about, you know, life stuff. I'm not talking about, hey, you know, I manifested a great team day. I'm talking about the fact that, you know, I've got to do webinar, things that, things that have to be done. You know, I've got to write my book, things that have to be done. And so, so what I decided was I decided that I would create my own part-time personalities. And then I would create little identities and I would schedule time to live in every single one of them. So I've got one identity called life-changing uh, life speaker. I've got another one, you know, that's called uh, loving husband. I've got another one called miracle maker. And so I created all these little identities, right? I've got all these ways, all these, all these different identities. And then what I did is I thought I would build these identities up, just like when you, you know, you step into a different part of you when you're with your parents, versus when you're with your, with your clients, versus when you're with your spouse, versus when you're with your best friend from high school on holiday, right? You're different. You have different personalities. So what if you could create, you know, different personalities of who you are, and then maybe even create, this is what I did, is I created theme days where I would just be one of my personalities, mainly that day, or even themed hours. So maybe you need to step into, and so I taught a client to this, I'll share you hers. So the first identity that she had was Mama Bear. Mama Bear. And when she's Mama Bear, it's about the kids, nothing else matters. So that was her first identity. Her second identity was Sales Queen. Sales Queen. Her next identity was Boss Lady. Boss Lady, when she was in charge of her, her business. The next was Diva. 
And I don't really know what that means, but that was her identity. The next was health goddess. And the last was magic moment maker. And so she had these little identities. And then she went, right, well, okay, which one's not getting enough attention? I'm not being the sales queen enough. And I need to schedule time to be that part of me. And I need to put it in my calendar. Then I need to step into that. And I need to experience being her more because I need more sales and I'm not doing it enough. So I need to schedule time. And then what we taught her to do, which is what I'm gonna teach you to do today, is how to actually create that as a physical anchor, maybe even an anchored space, maybe even you dress different. You dress different. So you know, you're gonna play by a different set of rules. Because how many of you have like five or six or more different identities or roles that you need to step into every single week. And how many of us find it so difficult to know, am I, am I supposed to be this or be this? And so sometimes as I've got these two, when we're, we're playing half of each one, right? We're half being sales queen. That's what I tell my boys in the office. And half being boss lady. I mean, I go out there and I see these guys and I'm like, are you sales queen or boss lady? <laughs> right? Are you sales queen or mama bear right now, James Wellington? <laughs> That's too good. So. <laughs> If you know James, you'll how funny that is. <laughs> so, so how many, <laughs> how many different identities uh, would you like to create? Let's start listing some out in the chat box and let's have some fun. What are some of the, <laughs> what are the some of the identities um, that you think are really important for you to create and to be able to step into? Because sometimes these don't go on your choices list, by the way. They're already there. I think we just need to sometimes structure it so we're out of overwhelm. So we're out of overwhelm. Where's Arwen? Arwen, are you hearing this? How can we structure all the good, all the ways we need to be? So let's have some fun. Fill me in. So what are some what are some different identities? that you might like, and you don't have to name them fancy yet, but but what like the, the part of you that's gonna be like this, the part of you that's gonna be like that, right? And then the, let's just have some fun, I'll give you a second. So what are, what are some uh, different identities that you know you need to shift into on a daily or a weekly basis, right? And let's just, let's just have some fun. So just have some fun, have some fun. Don't have too much fun with it. And you can steal anyone else's here because, you know, plagiarism is allowed. So if you, if you just want to sit back and wait for some good ones to pop up, you just, you just grab them. Very cool. I love it. I love it. Oh, I like it. Oh, very nice, Dixie. Yeah, because it's fascinating. You know, you can use the Enneagram types if that helps you shift into different identities. Most of us know that uh, some of these types, if we really want to be salesy, probably the number three, you know, is really good. If we really want to be caring, the number two, artistic, the four, you know, the, the focus thinker, the five. Yeah. Yeah, someone's wrote an integrator, so you might be visionary integrator. Anyway, lots of nice things, okay? So as you write your list there, I want you to think about with every single one of these, there is a focus point, right? So let's use, um, you know, so we'll use two here from my previous client. So Mama Bear versus uh, Sales Queen. Both of them are the same person, but when she's being Sales Queen, she has different beliefs, different focus, different energy, different success metric, right? Just different. Very different way of talking, way of being, right? Same person, 
But then when she's being mama bear, different energy, different focus, different success outcome, right? Different energy, completely different. Same person, same person, right? And she needs time to sit in each of those. And it's very hard if they both try to live at the same time. Being sales queen here, mama bear at the same time which I, I see so many bloody successful women being able to do somehow. For me, I can't do it at all, obviously. I mean, I'm really bad at being mama bear. I've tried. And, and so making sure that you get these focused. So what's interesting is that most of the time you actually can't uh, – you can't manage time. You can't manage time. Time's moving. It's not manageable. It just does one thing. It keeps going. Okay. What you, what you can manage is your focus. And how best to manage your time is to ensure that you can have focus time, focus points, because it can become very overwhelming. I don't know how my wife does it. Sometimes she's talking to me about 20 different things all at once. It's not focus. How do you make sure you allow yourself to get into focus and then get into the next focus so that you're not overwhelmed? You're not trying to juggle 10 things all at once. And for all my business leaders out there, we all know when we need to sit down and write content, we have to be in a different space than when we're selling, a different space when we're coaching, and then a completely different space when managing our team. Make sense? Uh, just in your business alone, you probably have five different hats that you need to need to put on. Trying to do more than one, very difficult. So my whole team that's on here, I'm, uh, this is for you too. If you're a marketer and you're trying to do content and then at the same time be talking to uh, and da, 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 all these things, it's not going to work, okay? It's simply not going to work. So let's create some nice identities and then let's pick the ones that really, really, really matter. That really matters. So you don't manage time, you manage the output and focus. Yeah. The next thing is that in every single identity, there are things. Look at that, Tony. I love it. Now that is a list, my friends. Very cool. Very cool. So in every single one of those versions of you, there are certain things that matter the most, right? Whether you want to call this the 80-20 rule or, or the 80-20 uh, the of the 80-20, which is the 4% rule, there are certain things that matter the most. For example, in sales, what matters the most is talking to a qualified prospect someone who wants what you're selling and has the money. Like out of everything, that is the most important thing. Everything else comes after that. That is, the, And so in every single one of these, there are two or three things that matter the most. And your job about stepping into identities, maybe you know you have to do sales, but you have never got, or you don't have much experience at, at sales. Maybe you need to be a marketer and you're not really good at being a marketer. You don't know yet. You've never stepped into that identity. Maybe you've never been a parent for Is this things that matter the most? And the best thing that you can do is if you're going to design these identities is find out what matters the most to, from people who are successful in that identity. Yeah, that's right, Chira. Right? If you want to be, okay, cool, I've got to be a marketer. I've got an hour a day. What matters the most? Okay, what matters the most? There's only a few things that matter, three, five, max, that matter the most. Very, very, very important. There's only a few. And so the next thing is as you look at your list, you don't actually need to do everything in all of those identities you are allowed to ask for help. One of my greatest gifts is that I have the ability to ask and receive help with no guilt. 
I'm completely okay with having other people help and shine and do things so that I can focus on the most important things. And so when you look at your list, there are things that you go, you know what? I need an identity here of uh, whatever it is, the, uh, the delegator. That is completely okay to ask for and receive help. So, hey, has everyone enjoyed today's conversation? Did everyone enjoy today's conversation? The conversation is this is if you're in overwhelm, one thing that you might be trying to do is trying to do four or five different outcomes all at once. And then sometimes you're not getting to certain things that are important. If you can create certain parcels of information called an identity or a personality and have that as a specific thing that you schedule time to have and be and do, it will allow you to step into that and do that one thing fully, step out of it, then step back into the next one and do that thing fully, step out of it, step into the next thing and do that fully. And if you're self-employed, a starting entrepreneur and a parent, you got to do this. You got to do this. Theming days or hours or weeks with a certain topic, crucial, very crucial. It's just what you need. Good, 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 good. We can all thank Arwen for this. So which of all those identities are you resisting stepping into the most? <laughs> 